wife. Hi. Hello. I hope I'm live. Hello. Am I audible? How many people have joined? Sixty-six. Have joined? Yes. Okay, that's nice. Namaskar. Namaste. Adab. Shwagatam. Welcome to Amul Simple Homemade Recipe. It is now. It has now become the world largest uh, platform. You know that showcases cuisines of different kinds and different types and from different parts of the world. So today, I'm going to share with you a traditional Assamese recipe and it is called Jolpan. So am I audible? Hello, hi, namaste, hello Vinita Day. Mohua Gupta, Namaste. Lawrence Gomes, Namaste. Hi. Okay. So today, myself, I'm Ivy. Ivy Boys. I have a YouTube channel and it's named What's Cooking in Ivy's Kitchen. And you please do have a look. Uh, you know, in this channel, you might find, of course, I think there are a few unique and interesting recipes to try out. Do check on later. But today, just now, I'm going to show you how to make a traditional Assamese recipe named Jolpan. Now, rice is a very important part of Assamese, uh, you know, life. For us, rice is very important. We not only have rice for lunch and dinner, but we also have rice, of course, in a different way for our breakfast. Surprised? Yes, we Assamese, we are very fond of rice cereals, you know, like you have uh, corn flakes, wheat flakes. We also have, you know, we uh, have uh, uh, cereals like uh, uh, rice in different forms for breakfast. And today I'm going to show you one such form and that is called Sira Doi. And along with the traditional recipe, I will also show you, you know, I'll also with the same ingredients, I'll also uh, show you our pudding recipe. Sounds interesting? So let's start. So here are all the ingredients that request, don't worry, it's a very easy one. The, uh, here are all the ingredients which I, I'll be going to require for the two recipes. Uh, today I'm going to show you sira, sira doi, that is sira means flattened rice. We use flattened rice, okay. it's also called po uh, poha, for us uh, we, the flattened rice we call it as sira. Sira means flattened rice, doi means curd. So I'm going to show you first how to make the traditional Assamese re recipe, Jolpan, and then I'll show you the uh, pudding recipe, okay? So for this, what we require is, we take some, and remember this does not require any measurement. So it's a very easy recipe that I'm going to show you. So first of all, for the traditional Jolpan recipe, what we are going to do is, we have to soak the, Sira, that is the flattened rice, in water for some time. Okay, so we allow the rice to soak in filter water. Yes, audible? Okay, hi. Good evening, Tulika. Madhumita Roy, hi. Hi. Uh, Chanchari Chatterjee. Hi everyone. So I have already started uh, with soaking. I have soaked the sira that is flattened rice in filtered water. Okay. And meanwhile, I'll tell you the other ingredients that we require. Very simple recipe. We will require dahi. I'm using amul dahi from here. This packet is already open. Then I'm also using amul fresh cream. Jaggery. Now gur is also a very important part of Assamese cuisine, okay, especially for breakfast. We use jaggery instead of sugar. And then I have got toasted walnuts chopped. I have just toasted it on uh, without oil. 
Then I'm also using here Amul um, dark chocolate. So I'm using Amul dark chocolate savings. Okay, so these are the few ingredients that we require. And simultaneously, I'll also start cooking for the pudding recipe that I'm going to show you. So how many have people have come? 103. I thank you all for joining me live. This is my third Amun show and I feel so proud to be on this privileged platform. So the rest of the rice, you know, you don't need measurement. Without oil, see I have switched on the, I have put the karai on the gas, on the flame, switch it on and I have added the flattened rice that is our SMA syrup. Okay, and then you just have to stir it. This is, we will just dry roast the syrup. So we, the syrup, you know, the poha will become so that it becomes crunchier. If you have any doubts, please feel free to ask me and I'll try to answer every queries. I hope I can answer all the queries. So, you know, I have a YouTube channel and it's named What's Cooking in Ivy's Kitchen. Uh, you can, please have a look. Please do have a look because it has some unique and very interesting recipes as well. Uh, you know, Sira doing, which is a jol pan, also becomes a dessert, you know, uh, during festivals like Bihu. I think you all know the most important festival of Assam is Bihu. And there are three Bihus which are celebrated during the, uh, in the whole year. The first is, yes, I, I have taken normal sira and I am dry roasting it now. Presently, I am roasting the sira. Sanshari ji, actually I am making two recipes simultaneously because of, you know, shortage of time. So, one is a traditional recipe where I have soaked the sira in water. Okay. And the other, in the other, in the karhai that I am doing just now, is I am dry roasting the sira. So, this becomes a staple dessert during Bihu. Every household we visit during Bihu. And, you know, we just celebrated the Mark Bihu or the Bugali Bihu. Makar Sankranti in Assam is celebrated as Mark Bihu, Bihu or Bugali Bihu. Bugali means, you know, because the, uh, you know, the fields, the markets are filled with fresh produce from the fields and different colors, green, red, violet, you know, all the different colors. So, you know, as means people, we celebrate Makar Sankranti by feasting, okay? And of course, by praying to the sun god and the fire god. So, during this time, during the, as, uh, you know, Bihu time, Jolpan becomes a very important part of the festivities. So we'll just check if it is crunchier or not. Remember, I have put the flame on low. Okay, so that we do not want to burn the syrup. Any queries? Uh, uh, Nina, Telly, uh, hello madam. You want to, okay, you want to join? Okay, uh, let me end up. I'll get back to you. Nidhi Goel, hello G. Nina, Telly, hello madam. Thank you for joining me live. Now, our childhood memories are incomplete without mentioning Amul. I still remember how much I used to love, you know, Amul butter. And I still remember the tagline, utterly, butterly delicious Amul. So, likewise, very recently we had celebrated Maghar Bihu. So I thought, why not share the traditional recipe with everyone? And it's a healthier version also because we do not use sugar. We use jaggery. So here I am using jaggery which I have grated. Uh, we also, in Assam, we also get a different type of jaggery that is called Julia Gur. Hello Mustafa ji, I'm fine. Sonal ji, hello. Please if you have any queries, feel free to text me. I'm here to clear the queries as well. How many people have joined? Any queries? 
what I'm doing. The syrup that we are using is made from uh, Joha rice. Now this Bihu, I got syrup which is made from Joha rice and Joha rice I think you all know is a very fragrant rice and with a very distinct flavor. So this Sira here from Joha rice also has that you know beautiful fragrant. Uh, Rani Kumar ji I'm making uh, a traditional Assamese recipe called Jolpa. See, actually it is also called, yeah, you know, Jolpan are various types, so it is uh, Sira Dol. We also have Hamdoguri Jolpan, we also have Kumasal Jolpan. So I'm showing you Sira Dol and along with it, I'll also show you a, you know, a pudding recipe using the same ingredients. Madam, your talking style is very nice and sweet. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Nina Ji. Thank you. I'm a teacher, so you know, I love to talk, I love to talk with students. Any queries? Hi, Nava. So I'm just dry roasting the sira. It is absolutely oil free. So not a single drop of oil. Yeah, the traditional way of making sira in Assam, you know, we use have a, uh, what should I say, it's an instrument like dheki. Hello, Rinko Sinaji. Madam, are you using date palm? Jelly? Ah, Sanchari ji, yes. Date palm recipe, or we call it khejur gur, does, you know, it gives a better flavor. If you have it there, you can add date palm. Now, this is a normal, you know, sugarcane uh, jaggery that I'm going to use. But of course, we also use, to, uh, I mean, my, I also love to have khejur or gur. Yeah, I'm using sugarcane jaggery now. You can also use date palm jaggery. So this is done. This is done. So we want the sira to be crunchy. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is because I just allow the sira to cool so that it cools faster. So this sira is not, you know, it's not flattened using a machine, but we have a traditional system of flattening it and it is called it is used in a, it is done in dheki so meanwhile the sira that i have soaked is you can see it is already it has soaked water so what i'm going to do is i'm now going to drain it so i have drained the sira and I have this uh, dry roasted sira. I have put it here for cooling. Now we'll start with the plating because this is not a very uh, you know very difficult recipe. We make preparations. So this is a traditional. You can say a bowl where we serve our jolpan. It's made of a very unique metal. It's called bell metal. Madam, okay, okay uh, Supriya ji, I'm making an, a traditional Assamese recipe called Jolpan and the Jolpan is made of Chira that is uh, Sira and Doi that is curd. Sanshari Chatterjee, Bobo Dhunia recipe, Dhoinno Bhat, yes, it is a very beautiful, it's going to be a very beautiful recipe. So these are a few traditional utensils where we are going to plate it both the traditional and the pudding that I'm going to make. So meanwhile, as our, uh, you know, as the sira is getting uh, it's colder, so what we'll do is, we will mix, this is amul dahi. So the only thing that you have to remember is one part of amul dahi. And two parts of amul cream. Now I have already whisked the cream and the dahi separately of course. Now we will whisk it together. So 
So I have taken one part of Amul Dahi and two parts of Amul Fresh Cream. So we give this a whisk. Any queries? Sohan Singh Waste, hello. Rinku Suman. Koi Kapi Lisi Koi Kula. Yes, it's our favorite. Yes, uh, Jutimani Sharma. It's our favorite sira, uh, sira doi. And gur, yes, sira doi and gur because we as Miss generally prefer jaggery to sugar. And jaggery, we all know, has a lot of health benefits. Okay. So it has not cooled completely, but never mind. I just. So now I'm going to plate the pudding recipe. Okay. So we first layer, we'll make the first layer and it's going to be the sira layer. Any queries? layer now the first layer I have that I have added is the toasted or the dry roasted sira layer okay and next we'll go the grated jaggery now here I'm using sugarcane jaggery but we also get a uh, kejure wood that is date palm jaggery that will also give you a very nice flavor now jaggery the sweetness you have to that will be according to your Taste. So now what you do is you gently press it. Okay. So then we'll go. we will add the, the mixture of Amul Dahi and Amul Fresh Cream. Uh, uh, Sanchari G cream is now easily available. Amul cream is easily available. So definitely I'm sure you will get Amul cream. But if not, if not, you can also use uh, Dahi. Will be, this is a normal Dahi. So it will have a sour taste. You can also mix equal quantity of Mishti dough. Carefully, we'll pour the next layer of cream and fresh cream and dahi. That is curd. We call it doi. Any queries? No. So next, this is Amul dark chocolate shavings that I've used. Now, of course, everyone loves chocolate. So am I. And I think you all know dark chocolate is also healthier. So, yeah, as much as you want. I love chocolate, so you know, I'm quite generous. And finally, 
ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀನಾಜಿ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆ್ಯಡೆಡ್ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಕ್ರೀಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಹಿ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಮೂಲ್ ದಹಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಅಮೂಲ್ ಫ್ರೆಶ್ ಕ್ರೀಮ್ ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟೋಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ವಾಲ್ ನಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಜೈಗ್ರಿ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವೀಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಟೋಸ್ಟೆಡ್ Uh, sorry it's not uh, almonds it is walnut okay so walnut will help in you know balancing the sweetness of the jaggery now this will also have lot this also has uh, you know lot of good fats good for your brain so how does it look the pudding recipe is already done i hope you liked it and now we'll get back to the traditional sira doy gur recipe alakananda ji thank you so much i i hope it's clear so what we are going to now do is we'll try to squeeze out the excess water okay now this time because this is a traditional recipe so and our very dear sira doy so what we'll do is we'll use a traditional bowl now the metal that we use is bell metal it's called kahor kahor basan ah yeah it makes a noise that's why it's called bell metal so we'll add uh, can we have uh, can we make and keep it in the fridge for a few hours before uh, uh, you know you can do that but what you can do is uh, if you keep it in the fridge the the dry roasted uh, serum might get uh, soggy okay so uh, the extra crunch which if, if you serve it immediately the extra crunch that you will get it will take the recipe to another level but you can also yeah you can use the soaked uh, you know instead of the dry roasted you can also try with the soaked uh, sira not an issue ma'am this looks so amazing thank you so much now the next layer that we'll add here is the heat doy so the uh, doy or curd is again is a super food so it is absolutely absolutely you know it is a must for especially for ladies and girls it's full of calcium okay and then of course the gur the grated gur okay so this now if you have date palm gur nothing like it that is also that that has a very you know very very distinct flavor okay so this is a traditional jolpan doy sira gur served in a traditional ban bati yeah this is called ban bati in assamese it's called ban bati in assamese so and this is a kahor kahor plate or kahor thal so this is the ban bati where i am serving the traditional doy sira gur recipe this is jolpan a very own very dear jolpan full of health benefits very very nutritious and together here is our very quick and very easy pudding recipe okay with the sira doy gur and a few ingredients uh please uh, please send me details so i can share of course uh of course i will i will share, send you the details neena ji 
be rest assured i will send definitely send you the uh, details anything else uh, we do go. jay shri krishna jay shri krishna rinku ji so uh we still have got 5 minutes how do you like my recipe wasn't it easy and healthy too right please do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel what's cooking in ivy's kitchen ah uh, tulika yummy delicious can we use mishti dough madam rinku singh yeah rinku sinha sorry you can use mishti dough in that case uh, you have to reduce the amount of uh, jaggery because mishti dough is already sweet and if you add the jaggery to become better, you know the sweetness will increase so you can uh, you know what you can do is uh, you can mix the mishti dough uh, the dough with curd you know the uh, the normal curd so the you know the uh, the sweetness will get balanced hi pankaj varua hi nita ba uh, how do you like do you how how do you, what do you think about my recipe isn't it interesting quick easy thank you thank you so please do not forget to subscribe to what's cooking in ivy's kitchen and you know i would also love to um, yummy i'm trying it please do try it do try it and do let me know I would love to hear from you. So, uh, yes, uh, you know. Um, so this is how we, you know, we are dessert. This is this uh, jol pan, jol pan, and uh, you know, uh, is not a, not only a part of our breakfast, but it is also a very important part of Bihu celebrations. During Bihu, when we visit our, you know, relatives' places, this is a must. Okay. So I thought. So when we have such healthy recipes, why not, you know, incorporate of those ingredients and try to make a you know a pudding recipe out of it which where the you know the nutrition portion will also remain intact so i hope you like it very nice presentation thank you thank you thank you i would also like to thank amul for this huge platform for the third time and we all know uh, it has become the world largest recipe show and uh, you know to be a part of it is is a huge privilege for me so amul thank you once again thank you so much for providing me with this a uh, platform of this kind and i would also like to thank uh, uh to all my viewers amazing amazing i'll subscribe to your channel thank you thank you uh, sanchari ji uh okay. any more okay uh do you want us so okay now i'll just before i wrap up i'll just give you a gist of what we have done today so i have made two recipes today one is a traditional uh ohomia recipe jolpan recipe sira doy and gur okay sira is the flattened rice which everyone i think knows know it as poha so what we do and the poha the, the sira that we use is not the machine uh, machine flattened sira because sira is the flattened rice so this is flattened in dheki okay indigenous way in an indigenous way uh okay so um so what we are doing here is first thing for the traditional jolpan recipe i have soaked the sira now this the both the recipes are very easy because there is no measurement as of such so what you can do is you soak the uh, uh, sira in uh, uh, you know uh, in water and then you let it stand for some time meanwhile i had started with the pudding recipe with sira again so uh, uh, i have dry roasted the sira without single drop of oil of course still it, it is crunchy okay and then i have allowed it to cool for some time now because of the you know time limit i have just uh, you know uh, you know i couldn't get a chance to cool it properly so when you make it at home you just let it cool properly you know that that, that with the crunchiness will you know the, it, it will remain okay so i have uh, then i have layered uh, the shot glass sorry the shot glass with the uh, dry roasted sira and then on top of it i have added jaggery which i have grated sorry which i have grated and you can also use i have added sugar cane jaggery you can add um date palm jaggery not an issue at all and then i have topped it with another layer you know with the next layer and that is amul dahi and which one part of amul dahi and two parts of amul fresh cream so i have whisked it together one part of amul dahi and two parts of amul cream okay and i have layered it over the gur and then i have topped it with amul dark chocolate shavings and then finally i have added dry roasted walnuts so this was all about the 
pudding recipe and here after the rice was I'm uh, sorry after the sira was soaked has soaked properly I have uh, drained it okay so there is no I mean the excess water drains off and then I have layered this with dahi now I'm using fresh uh, sorry amul dahi the not the sweet one we do actually as soon as we use uh, you know the uh, sar dahi and actually we also use the uh, dahi during bihu from buffaloes we call it mohor doi so dahi we also get it from cow cow's milk and we also make dahi from buffalo milk okay so here i'm using uh, amul dahi and then i have layered it with jaggery i hope you liked it i hope i was uh, able to explain your doubts i hope i you could all clear your i mean whatever queries you had i hope i uh, i could clear it well and please do check on my youtube channel it's called what's cooking in irish kitchen and it's almost time i would also like to thank amul for this immense platform that they have provided of course i'd also like to thank uh, you know my viewers for joining me live for giving me your time and you know peppering me during the sessions it was lovely it was you know it was an amazing experience and i hope i'll meet you all again so with that dhanyawad thank you bye bye take care